Sorry to still be flexing the chair. It's just literally the comfiest thing I've ever sat in. What's going on everyone? Goldcobra here and I'm back with another video. And it's that time of the month. It's manga haul time. So it's time for me to showcase all the stuff that I picked up through the month because I have very little to no self-control. Uh, now, it was my birthday earlier in the month and I did get some uh, manga as a birthday present for my lovely girlfriend and I did gift myself some stuff too. I didn't didn't go too hard uh, in that space. I did pick up a few bits and pieces here, but all in all, this is a pretty meat and potatoes um, manga haul. Like There's just a lot of stuff that you can probably find in store, but I still think it was a pretty good haul, so why don't we jump right into it. Uh, so why don't we kick off the manga haul with the stuff that I picked up from Viz, uh, starting off with Shonen Jump. And to start us off, I got volume two of Kaiju number eight. Uh, this is a really fun read. Um, I'm enjoying Kaiju at the moment. I think the slightly older protagonist is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to it. I like big Kaiju battle sort of stuff. Uh, and it's just like a fun read so far. It is a little bit overhyped. I will admit that um, like my uh, expectations of it is sort of crashing back down to earth after reading the, uh, the first volume. But I think it's going to be fun, and I'll just probably keep plugging along with that until I get tired of it. But yeah, that was Kaiju number eight. Alongside that, I did pick up volume 15 of Dragon Ball Super. Now, I haven't finished reading this, but I think this wraps up the Moro arc that we're currently in with Goku fighting Moro as well. Um, I've had a lot of fun with Dragon Ball Super. I think this is fun. I'm not going to flick through it just because I don't want to give myself any spoilers. But um, yeah, I really like Dragon Ball. Um, if you watch my previous video, you can see that I have all of the box sets as, as well as I'm up to date with Super. But yeah, really happy to have that one um, just because it's also not out in Australia yet. I managed to find this online. So glad that it came in during the month of May. And next up is Boruto Volume 13. Uh, I'm the biggest Boruto apologist. I think that it's finally starting to get good. I think everything about it's finally starting to click. Uh, the first couple volumes were rough, like it just seemed like it was going to be so crud, but I was thinking Sasha Kishimoto started writing for it again, um, so yeah, it's uh, really starting to pick back up for it, yeah, sorry, he's uh, like a sword on the front there, he's obviously supervising it, so it's really starting to pick up steam, it's starting to feel more like Naruto 2.0 rather than just that thing that's associated with Naruto, so yeah. Really, really, really enjoying Baruto, and I think I'll just continue to pick that up as well. And next up is the only thing from the Shonen Sunday line that I collect currently, and that is Mao, Volume 4. Um, Rumiko Takahashi's work is really fun. I'd say really fun a lot, but yeah, it just is. Um, I haven't actually carved through this one yet. I'm still reading Mao Volume 3. But yeah, everything about this is just really easy to read. Um, I like her art style too. It's very simplistic. Um, this is almost like a switch off your brain and just enjoy the stories type vibe to it. So um, that's, yeah, it's like a really easy read for me. So I really enjoy Mao. And from the Viz signature line, I picked up No Guns Life Volume 5. Uh, no Guns Life, I think, is easily one of the most slept on series. Um, I just don't think it gets the rap that it deserves. I know that there's an anime and everything else. It is very wordy. Um, it has a lot of action to it too, but there's a lot of like plot and pretense to it. So um, if I could recommend anything to you, it is just take a look at this if you're heaps of the cyberpunk or like if you like Blade Runner or anything else like that. This is definitely the series for you. But yeah, I picked up volume five. This is something that I chip at away at uh, throughout the months. Uh, sorry if I'm also sounding a little bit stuffed up. I'm having terrible allergies. Uh, this is a horrible time of the year for me. Um, I really bad hay fever sufferer, but I digress. So uh, in terms of hardcovers, I did actually pick up some Viz things uh, this month and I picked up Orochi volume one by Kazuo Umezu. Um, I really love Kazuo's work. I'm a big fan of Drifting Classroom. You can probably see it up the back here somewhere, hopefully. Um, so yeah, so I like to see that some of the other work is getting the hardcover treatment. It's very uh, similar to the Drifting Classroom, like woven style covers. Um, really cool. I just like the all over print. And uh, yeah, it's got his typical artwork in here. Again, that cerebral, real, slow paced, methodical thriller inside here. So really excited to keep picking these up as they come out. I actually don't know how many there are, so it's just gonna be as big a surprise to myself. So yeah, that's cool. That was Orochi volume one. And of course, continuing on with that, we have Fist of the North Star volume four. 
man look at this it's uh crazy covered um but i love this from north star everything about it's really cool i think the story is just plain ridiculous um as it keeps going on i just seem to get more and more uh embroiled in it it's just so 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 silly um but it's also so cool you know like this is like the original like i'm a big guy just fighting dudes type of scenario so yeah really happy to have that one there and i'm just gonna keep collecting these because they again look really cool up on the shelf i don't know if you can see those they're just hidden back there but i need to start sorting out some more shelf space but that is a future me problem but that is also fist of the north star volume four next up is soul eater volume five with the bumblebee covers um yeah i picked this one up in store i was surprised to actually see this here i haven't really seen much of the perfect editions um out in <laughs> oh excuse me uh in the wild yeah so um yeah so it is really cool um, yeah, i'm i'm enjoying this um it is just like a fun little read whenever i get the chance to um heaps into these uh like editions I guess this is how I'm compensating for not being able to collect the uh, Full Metal editions of Full Metal Alchemist. So I'm just picking up these perfect editions, even though uh, I really want those Full Metal editions. What the thought pattern in that diatribe was for, I don't know. But yeah, really happy to have that in there. So yeah, that is Soul Eater Volume 5 Perfect Edition. Next is Death Note. Another note. Um, I'm a huge Death Note fan. I think I mentioned that a bunch of times. Um, so, and I love all the work that uh, Sugimi Oba and Takeshi Obata do. So, really happy to have this. This is a light novel. It does have words in it, just typical words. Um, so, I am excited to read this just because it's obviously based roughly on the Death Note series. And I guess it's based on another set of murders. I haven't really looked too far into it, but I'm excited to read that. It's always just sort of nice to change up. And not read something that just has a whole bunch of pictures and there's ninjas and stuff in it so yeah i'm excited to read this and um probably give my thoughts on it at some point too but yeah death note another note um now for my birthday my girlfriend gifted me volume one of both part three and part four of jojo's bizarre adventure which i think was really smart just because i think i'm just gonna be picking up um one of each like occasion like along the way however I, I buy these um like my logic frame for that um it's just so that by the time i'm finished with part three i know that there's 10 volumes of this and i know there's seven volumes of part four i'll be done with part four so i can just sort of jump right into it so with that in mind i also gifted myself volumes two of both part three and part four so um yeah sort of chipping away at that jojo's um collection just so i can sort of keep up to date with it i am really excited to sort of see what part three holds just because everyone i know has told me like jojo starts at part three you know bro like jojo's really starts at part three uh so i'm yeah high expectations not like super high but like yeah high expectations so yeah cool keen to see what that is so yeah i just got jojo now before we continue on have you checked out my collecting goals video for 2022 and have that one linked in the bottom there i managed to actually pick up a fair bit of stuff from that list for the month of may so yeah let's take a look at all that too so i finished off one of the series in my collection that i've had sitting there for a little while just because i was waiting to find a good price on it so i picked up volume five of basilisk which is also known as the cargo and ninja scrolls so i'm really stoked to have that it's a thick boy too um yeah, really happy to have that, which sort of means that I can finally finish reading Basilisk and then get into the second series, which is the Yagyu Ninja Scrolls. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. Um, I really like Basilisk. I love battle uh, manga. Again, love ninjas. Um, I love all sorts of like samurai type manga. So really happy to have that one finished in there just because it can be a little bit hard to find. Got this for a really good price from the same person who sold me one through four. Uh, and yeah, that is... Basilisk completed. Uh, next, I was able to get volume four of Ikigami, The Ultimate Limit, um, which means I can sort of get a start on the one that is in my collection. I have volumes one to three. I think I've read one and two. I can't really remember. Honestly, I'll probably just reread it because it's so long ago. But this is sealed, which is nice. Um, I know that this is out of print at the moment, but it is still in stock, so it's kind of easy to find. Um, but I do want to sort of get this under control before uh, some volume starts going out of stock and it becomes very hard to find but really happy to have gotten that one in the month 
<laughs> um, now for something a little bit funnier. Um, I picked up my first pieces of Tokyo Pop to go into my collection and I managed to grab volumes one and volumes two of Devil May Cry three. Uh, this is the Dante and Virgil uh, books. They are based on Devil May Cry 3. Um, I'm a huge Devil May Cry fan. I love hack and slash games. Um, so I am excited just to sort of see and read what's in here. Um, I know that Tokyo Pop did a whole bunch of licensed stuff. Some of it is very bad. So um, yeah, I'm happy to probably dive into this a little bit later just to see what it's all about. Um, just because, as I said before, I'm a huge Devil May Cry fan. So uh happy to check that out but yeah happy to have these two in my collection they are something that i said i wanted to add uh later on this year and i was actually able to find them again in australia for a good price and yeah there we go that is Devil may cry 3 from tokyo pop now for something kind of funny um but kind of cool at the same time too i picked up volumes one and two of dog ningen or dog nigga i don't really know uh yeah kind of cool um i love the use of the black in like the black pages um i think it's a it was a webtoon and then someone like redrew it or i'm not too sure like let me not talk out of my ass because um i just don't want to get it wrong but this is cool these are heavy bro um these are like real heavy so um yeah this is like it's very weird like that's the only way i can really describe it it's the same way as a manga it's printed like like almost like a traditional book but you still read it like a manga but the artwork isn't on the back page like it's got the barcode on the back like i don't know like it's just it's printed by amazon so they're sort of just like doing whatever they want to do but this is cool question mark um from what i've read so far so uh yeah like i'm just probably just gonna keep picking these up because they're kind of cheap and like you know they really cool looking so yeah um dog ningen um cool something i was also surprised to find in just like a local book distributor and they were able to ship it out to me i got volume two of happiness for retail which was really nice um i'm chipping away at this as i mentioned before um it is hard to find happiness um here in australia uh, i don't know about anywhere else on the planet but yeah, I've actually been struggling to find this. Um, I found volume one because someone sold it to me on Facebook Marketplace and I was really stoked on that. But um, volume two and volume three uh, were sort of difficult to find. I do have volume three coming in the mail. I'll probably show that off next month because it probably will be here next month. Uh, it's coming with a bunch of other stuff too. I won't keep that one a secret, but um, yeah, really cool. I'll probably dive into one and two and then uh, wait for the rest to come in. But yeah, slowly making my way through happiness. Um, I love Shujo Tumi's work. Um, there's a bit more stuff that I picked up through the month from him. So yeah, really happy to have that one there. Now to add another new publisher to my collection, as well as part of my collecting goals too. I got volume one of Kaiji Gambling Apocalypse. Um, I know the people have mentioned that this is a very slow paced uh, manga. I'm sort of waiting to see that. I really like, I, sometimes I really do like a slow paced manga just in terms of like making you think and read and understand the setting. So I'm excited to read that. This might just be something that I read every now and then, just like in terms of like I pump out a full volume and then give it like a month before I read the next one too. Um, so I guess I'll wait and see. I just need to finish reading this one too. Um, lots of new manga, lots of no time to read it. So uh, yeah, happy to have Kaiji Gambling Apocalypse in my collection. It's my first uh, Demper um, work. So yeah, I'm really happy to have time for the heavy hitters. Um, I was a little bit annoyed when it came to actually picking this one up because I picked up volume two from someone on Amazon and then they just straight up never sent it. And when I questioned them about it, it just never came through. So I just had to wait and try and source a new one. But luckily the person who sold me volume three of the series also had a practically brand new copy of volume two. So that's on the way as well. Probably be here next month as well. But I'm talking about real. Uh, so I got volume three, volume four, volume five, and volume six of real uh i loved volume one of real i instantly had a connection with it i thought everything about it was so 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 special um again it's by uh anyway so 
of course it's going to be awesome but i just didn't expect it to be at that level i think by the time i'm done with it uh it's probably going to end up as like one of my top manga of all time i love basketball to begin with i love the super real setting of it as well like pardon the pun but everything about real rocks i was really happy to find this copy of volume three because they are expensive um for like a really normal price same with volume two as well really expensive so um happy i just paid like slightly over retail for them if i'm being honest um but it's probably better than that than paying the how many hundreds of dollars that people are asking for so yeah just stoked to have real in my collection as it continues to grow and i can't wait to be up to date with this i got shuzo simi's other work in terms of happiness but i'm also collecting blood on the tracks and my girlfriend and i are reading at the same time and i got volumes five six seven and eight of blood on the tracks during that month um some of them were a gift for my birthday as well. Uh, and then I also gifted myself the seven and eight gift and I just bought them for myself because um, I'm a man. The next series is one from my collecting goals. And I honestly just assumed I would never ever see any of these. Um, I actually picked up volume one on Amazon, maybe halfway through the month of March. And then my copy was lost. So they sent me out another one and it took almost <laughs> like double the amount of time expected to arrive. In fact, it just arrived a couple of days ago. And I bought volumes two, three, and four for a really good price. In this random uk bookstore and i was just like i'm never gonna see that and that money's just lost in ether but they all showed up like in the same week and that is arjun demi human um i was just like you know what? i'll finally just i'll read this first because i've just been waiting for it for so long and i just binged volumes one volume two volume three and volume four pretty much all in one sitting i couldn't stop reading it this has become so, 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 so good. And slowly, I, sorry, what I meant to say is this has slowly become one of my favorite mangas that I've read like in recent memory. Um, everything about it, setting, tone, um, artwork is really cool. Uh, premise, like it's just so good. So um, I'm gonna be purchasing a lot of it in bulk, I assume, so I can complete this as quickly as possible so I can read it. This might also end up being in my top manga of all time. If you haven't read Arjun, that's the strongest recommendation from me, this and real. Um, so yeah, I'm stoked to have these in my collection. And also I just like the spines, the spines are really cool. And also just like the pages, like the covers, sorry. Are just like, so they're so different. I'm gonna show them again, just cause like they're really unique, different. Um, it just doesn't seem like the way manga artwork is not. Regardless of all that, that's Arjun Demi Human. Super stoked to have this one in my collection. Now onto some stuff from Dark Horse. Um, I haven't read these yet. I'm just completing my singles collection because I just read most of this online and now I'm just sort of getting back through it too. And that is Berserk. Um, I've mentioned before Berserk is probably like my second favorite manga or tied for first with Naruto. Uh, just like brings me back to when I was in high school and reading manga with all my friends. So uh, it always is really nice when I get to pick some of these up for a good price. So I picked up uh, volume 29, uh, volume 30, and also volume 31. I'm slowly getting to that point where it's sort of sinking in that um, since Kentaro Muria died, uh, we probably won't be getting um, more Berserk for a very long time, if ever again. And it hasn't like quite like hit me just yet. I think it probably will when I pick up the last English volume. And uh, yeah, um, sort of like a bittersweet thing for me, but uh, yeah, again, this is very tied into my nostalgia as well as I just love everything about Berserk, so really stoked to have those in my collection. Something else that was in my collecting goals for the year, um, I picked all these up in a brick. That was literally what it was called. It was called Manga Brick from Amazon, and I picked up volumes 1 through 5 of Mob Psycho 100. Um, so I already had the Reagan book, um, so... It's just good to sort of be like getting this now. You know, I always didn't know really where to start. Um, it's actually kind of hard to find um, like in store. So I just decided to finally search on Amazon and pull the trigger on this. But yeah, I found a really good price, heavily discounted. Um, I kind of like the fact that the artwork is like a little bit shitty. Um, it just has like such charm to it, you know, like you just really don't find manga like this uh, very often. So yeah, um, I know he's also like, 
part working on um, One Punch Man, like he co-writes it and then um, dude draws it as Murata, oh geez. Um, yeah, he's the one who draws it, but he still also uses some one's art style in it too. But yeah, there's volume two. Let me stop talking because I'm just rambling on now. Um, volume three. Volume four, which is my favorite cover so far. And volume five. Um, I think there's seven out at the moment, so I'll probably pick up uh, volume six and seven at some point soon. But uh, it's just good to have all those here in my collection finally. So yeah, that is one, not one punch band, definitely Mob Psycho 100. So I'm gonna have it linked below, but if you didn't watch my video on the state of like current manga box sets in their future, you wouldn't have seen this one just because I sort of gave a bit of a sneak preview when I showed off my collection before. But uh, during the month of May, I managed to pick up Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind. Uh, these are the hardcovers by Studio Ghibli as well as like produced by Viz. I'm still wrapped. I haven't unboxed it yet. I'm just waiting for the right time for that too. But this is my favorite Studio Ghibli movie. Um, I was really fortunate to find this and I just couldn't pass it up. And alongside that, while I was at a record store for something else, I managed to pick up the soundtrack for it too. I'm a huge record guy as well. So um, just to be able to get my favorite Studio Ghibli movie in hardcover box set is crazy but to find the record as well like just here in my city um was pretty crazy so um yeah a friend of mine also picked up the princess mononoke one so i guess they just managed to get in some studio ghibli soundtrack so yeah really stoked that we both managed to grab those but yeah that was also in the month of may uh yeah really happy to have both of those there cool now, last but not least, some big boys. Um, Attack on Titan, volume two in the Colossal Editions. This thing is huge, boy. Um, and I like this like full uh, page spread. Um, everything about Attack on Titan is so cool. Uh, and I just like the fact that I'm only going to need six of these to complete the series because that is so much shelf space um, saved up whenever I do find time to rearrange the other side of my bookcase here just so I can sort of start setting these up but yeah I really start to have that in my collection um I've said that like a billion times but no I actually am um, I really do like Attack on Titan and these colossal editions are exactly what I need I don't really like the omnibuses and those like shitty box sets to just have like a four of them together like they just fry my gears so um yeah really happy to have that and last but not least is the final big boy and that is Blade of the Immortal Deluxe Edition Volume 4. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm just picking up one of these a month. Um, this one was actually like half the price of all the others. I don't know why. And it was uh, express ships to my house. So always a plus. Um, yeah, I'm really loving everything about um, Blade of the Immortal. Sorry, I just had to look in the back. I just totally forgot I was about to say One Punch Man again. Um, I really liked Blade of the Immortal. Not really like, I really love Blade of the Immortal. Um, and these deluxe editions are awesome. I just, yeah, they're sick. I'm not going to gush about it for too long. Uh, um, yeah, so that's that's everything. So yeah, that sort of wraps up my month of May, just in terms of manga collecting. Uh, again, yeah, as I mentioned, I did manage to pick up some stuff I was like super into, but uh, it wasn't like too crazy. Um, I do have a bunch of really cool stuff coming in the month of June, and I can't wait to show you guys that. Um, yeah, it should just be here because it's all internationally shipped again. So a lot of stuff that is very me, a lot of new stuff that I'm really looking to try out too. And yeah, I can't wait to show that with you guys. But for the time being, if you really did like the video, leave a like on it too. If you're new and you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And of course, what did you guys pick up in the month of May? Always want to know uh, what you guys are reading or what you guys are looking to collect. So yeah, just leave that in the comment section below. And yeah, thanks again. Until then, peace.